welcome to NN Extra. We are here with Anne, Christine, and Spartan. Hey. Oh, <laughs> I'm your host, Sylvania Amani. We have a lot to discuss this week. The week started off with a very weird note. Uh, when we start off with the maize import saga and the unga prices going down. It's, it's, you know, but the, pro, the question that I, I want to ask you guys, why are Kenyans not, not relieved or satisfied with the unga prices going down? Because we were buying it at 180, close to 200 shillings. Now it's at 90 shillings. But guys are still on social media talking all kinds of uh, things about it. The problem is not about the unga price going down, but I think it's about the date of manufacture and the expiry date. Because remember this ship docked in, uh, I think it was last week, mm -hmm. but the manufacture date on that packet, the yeah, on the packet mm. is uh, March. March. So people are trying to, people are wondering, was this unga manufactured and then brought all the way to Kenya or just uh, this government agency or whatever, whoever imported the maize trying to dupe Kenya. But here's the situation. Kenyans have been complaining, crying out to the government to actually reduce uh, the amount of uh, certain food items. Now it has been done, but we are still having uh, people complaining. A solution has been given. At your, we should test if the ungas are, uh, are good for consumption, you know, the quality, etc., etc. What is going like on in Kenya? Said before, Kenyans always have something to say, regardless of what it is. So, I mean, the prices were... They've been reduced, yes. but still we are complaining. I think it's just sometimes how we are as Kenyans. But if you think of, we like oh, to talk think of and it, we like to look for something to say. Mm. When a deal is too good, you think twice. True. Someone just doesn't bring you something like it's a twice half the price, and then you just you take just it. Take it like just because you are given at a lower price. Think. But then again, uh, even if that hunger has gone down, you don't uh, in your whole meals like the meals you take, the three meals you take in a day. If you take three. Some take five. <laughs> now, uh, if you take three, for example, you don't take unga only. If you have the unga, okay, I have ugali. Ugali is cheap. Then meat is expensive. Uh -huh. Oh, so there's an anthrax. Oh, <laughs> oh, milk is expensive. Yes, exactly. Milk is, you can't. For example, nowadays, uh, for example, back in the day, you could take, let's say, ugali and mala. Mala was cheap. Nowadays, mala is expensive. It's a luxury. Yeah. When, uh, when's the last time you had mala? <laughs> last week. You see? <laughs> So the thing is not just about the unga. We don't take unga alone. Mm -hmm. I want to have breakfast. Mm -hmm. I want to have, like, say, I won't cook. Uh, I won't take, let's say, prepare uji from maize mm -hmm. flour and then cook ugali and then eat ugali with that maize flour uji. You know, mm -hmm. doesn't work like that. So after, as in, when you're reducing the the food stuff, reduce all of them. It's all related to unga peke. Everyone has been talking about unga. Unga has come down. No one is talking about sugar. Yeah. Now I was talking about maize, so there's still issues there, there's still issues there, but people are focusing on the wrong things because this thing has been politicized, where did this ship come from, when did it come from Mexico, or oh, those guys are saying it didn't come from there, it's expensive, Why did South blah, blah, Africans blah. reject it, Why did South Africans reject it, yes, okay. stuff like that. So Kenyans always talk, as you say, they but always talk. I remember we were reading something with Christine, like this woman had caught uh, like a big, that big bird, what they call a pelican that fell from um, but this it's a pelican. pelican yeah I don't know, if you, I don't know. Bag. So I don't know how KWS is going, going to compensate her. But guys, 
let's all be actually let's get be satisfied with what is done when something when we cry out for something to be done and a solution is given why not just appreciate. accept it let's appreciate it no i was giving an ex i was I giving an example here's an example and if you are living in a in, in a house and then you are paying like let's say 20000 rent and then uh, your landlord comes and tell you I, uh, I'm going to reduce the rent and you're going to pay 15,000. Are you going to pay the 15 or 20? Or ask the landlord, Ati, I suspect to nanifunguzia rent kwa sababu of uh, ill thoughts or what? But you know, it's a different case. That's a the different case. What the product is the same. The product, yeah, the product is, is the same. Uh, yeah. no. someone, you say you tell Based someone you need money. Someone yeah. goes and steal money uh, and brings you that money. money. You don't question. <laughs> you just take that yeah, money. Yeah. And then all of a sudden some, someone comes and arrests you. Maybe because that money was being trapped yes. and you have no idea. Okay. Guys, let's just appreciate so, what the government like has I said, done. <laughs> when a deal is too good, yeah. think twice. Kwa hivyo unga, out of kula ugali zasa? Okay. <laughs>